This is the information economy age. And it's very difficult to keep up with the needs and demands of partners, of communities, if we're just not more sophisticated mm -hmm. with our use of data from all sources and we, and we understand how it tells a story of health for people and communities. There's power in partnership, just like there's power in data. If people sit in their silos or data sits in its silos, it's not going to help the, the people that we're here to help, which is the people of this country. I think we have to be better about thinking about what kinds of community uh, data do we want to show to clinicians that will be compelling to them that's as, at a community perspective. And I think we've actually not been very thoughtful about that yet. We can't succeed unless we're all doing this together. New York City is a remarkable place to be, and with all of the richness and diversity of the communities, it does present challenges to figure out how to really reach, understand, and include the population at large in studies that we do to be able to understand the health of the individuals and the health of their communities. There's a remarkable amount of data out there, and really I think some of the excitement is, is looking at the way we can connect data sets to help us get a more informed picture than we would get with one data set alone. The business model for healthcare is more focused on waiting till people get sick and need services and then delivering as many of those services as, as they can. So how can we use data, for example, on the healthcare side to create workflows that make it easier to do the right thing. Um, so to me that, that attention on not data for its own sake, but data as, um, as a way to get to the outcomes that we want and work backwards from the outcomes, from the what's the question to how do we provide clarity, how do we provide motivation, and how do we make it easier to do the right thing. Being able to take this what we know about what makes a healthy community um, and to drive that to an individual person that is actionable um, actually requires some um, linking and matching of data sets so you can actually track individual people through the system and then figure out what to do with them. We're starting to first collect more data about public health related measures that impact our individual patients' lives. Healthcare at a minimum has to be aware of that, that broader externality and maximally should start to pull some of those levers themselves to try to improve individual patients' outcomes. How do you build trust with community? I mean, there have been big data breaches recently. We've read about them in the news, uh, really across uh, in, from a whole variety of sources. How can we uh, engage communities of people, but at the same time uh, engage their trust at the same time in this era? Transparency is not only in stating you're transparent, but in actions over time. So one, um, private sector companies have to be able to build a long-term relationship with communities. As you see more entities coming into play here, using uh, health data and working in the population health space, um, their ability to create trust through uh, constant communication, transparency, and engagement is gonna be key. A couple of bright spots really struck me today. One is the notion that uh, at some sense, less is more. We're awash in big data, uh, the rate at which data are available is multiplying like crazy, but in fact, that's different from saying that the amount of knowledge and wisdom and insight is uh, multiplying like crazy. And what we need to do is to focus in more, uh, in a more concentrated way on uh, the measures, the pieces of data that really we think matter the most and let some of the rest of it fall away. Otherwise, it becomes really uh, disorienting, frankly, and, uh, and difficult to find a path forward. Uh, another uh, important lesson is really of engaging the users of data and communities about whom data is gathered in that process of deciding what's gathered and for whom and how.